Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I planned my daughter's first birthday party, everything that I did to prepare for it. So this is kind of like a party prep uh, slash DIY unicorn birthday party. So I hope that you enjoy this and that it gives you some motivation for the next party you plan. Good job. All right, so first I wanna say this video was done over three days because I was trying to not leave everything for the night before of the party and be up all hours of the night. I used to wanna like surprise my kids with the decorations, but finally I got over that. So we are decorating three days before the party, at least partially. This banner was extremely affordable. I got it on Amazon Prime and it really made the party something special and of course i had to pick up some fresh flowers from our local grocery store because it just adds a nice ambiance and something fresh in the kitchen I also got this extremely affordable cupcake stand from Amazon and as you can see it's very easy to assemble. My sister is doing it with my niece on her chest so you know that you can do this too. And like I said I'm going to try to have everything linked below where I got things just to make your life easier if you are also planning a unicorn themed birthday party. I picked up this little letter board from Home Goods clearance section. It was super cute and it's light up and it had a little unicorn with it. So I figured why not just add something even cuter. And it also comes with dry erase markers that you can use on it as well. Next, I'm just showing you how my sister and I are blowing up a million balloons and doing the balloon arch ourselves. I feel like balloon arches are super intimidating because I always felt the same way too, but when people see it, they do think you hired a professional. They do think that it like adds something really special. Um, so this is the second time doing it and I learn each time what to do and what not to do. Um, one of the things to do is that you can blow out the balloons with plenty of time ahead. Like you don't need to do it the night before. You can do it even a week in advance. We still actually have Carter's from his birthday party in the basement. So blow up those balloons. I'll show you in a minute here the tape that I used for them and I'll give you some more tips. Also got these unicorn balloons from Target. Um, so I'm just attaching the multicolored balloons to the strips in no particular order. You can do like all purple in one spot, all pink in one spot, all blue in one spot, but I was kind of just like mixing them up and you'll see how I tied them up. The first time that I did the balloon arch, I did not leave any space to tie them up and it was kind of a disaster. Um, so like I said, I'm learning each time. The tape that you get to put the balloons together is like $4 on Amazon. It's totally worth it. I do hear people um, using just like a needle and thread to do that. You could do that as well. I've never tried it. Um, but yeah, this really works well and for $4, I think it's worth it. Now that it's tied up, I'm just adding some more balloons where I think they're needed because there's still some holes. So like I said, in a minute I'll show you the special tape that you use, but you want to leave tape left on either side. So you want to have some extra tape to be able to hang up the balloon arch. And if you do know where your corner is, if you're doing like a balloon arch like this instead of like a perfect arch, try to tie a string or ribbon onto that corner so that you can get that ribbon to then either tack up or tape up, but you'll see what I mean. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so here's that tape I was talking about. You're literally just gonna take the bottom of the balloon and pull it through every other way. So one will go one way, the following balloon will go the other way. At least that is how I did it. Like I said, super simple. You just need to make sure you have a way to hang it up because once you get all the balloons on there, on that arch, there's no way to hang it up because the balloons are so tight you won't be able to get to any of the string. Last minute, I decided that I wanted a tulle skirt for Ella's high chair to go with the banner. So my sister did that for me. She just tied some tulle together. But now it is the next day and I am moving on to my cakes, which were my big projects. I got this recipe from a really popular baker here on YouTube and watched her video about 1 million times. I will link it below. I'm sure you know of her. But like I said, I just used her recipe from scratch. I did use store-bought icing, um, but it came out really good from what I heard because it wasn't gluten-free, but everybody who ate it said it was amazing. And little Miss Ella liked it. Um, I like to bake, but usually not from scratch. So this was a whole new chapter for me. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know I was super hard on myself. But what I realized is that the reason I was so hard on myself was because I'm watching these YouTubers videos who are literally professional bakers and comparing my first time in a long time making a from scratch cake and you know I like to decorate cakes and do things like that with my kids but I've never done anything like this before so it was really intimidating for me but I usually buy cakes or buy cupcakes but I wanted to just do this from scratch because I was having the party catered um, we did wind up just grabbing like some deli uh, trays from Wegmans, some pasta salads, fruit trays and veggie trays, just like easy, cool things like that since it was like really hot. We left the food inside of the house and everybody ate inside. But I realized that when I wind up cooking all the food myself, I wind up spending more time and more money than I normally would getting something catered. So. Basically, since I was getting food catered, I wanted to make the cake myself, and it was really important to me. I feel like every party, every holiday, I have one thing that is like really important to me. I don't know why I do this to myself, but I do it with everything, and I'm just now starting to realize that. But now, this time, it was the cake. The cake was my thing that I had to do for the party. And for the cupcakes, I just did store-bought like chocolate devil's food cake and did the cupcakes that way so that we'd have a chocolate option along with my cake that was vanilla. So we had a chocolate option and a vanilla option. And even though we had a lot of people at our house, we still had some cupcakes left over, but the cake was absolutely gone, which made me happy since I did make it from scratch. And I don't know if any of you have a KitchenAid mixer, but this glass bowl was like breaking my arm, which is why it looks so crazy in this video, because this bowl is heavy. Now that the cakes are done, I'm going to put the cupcakes in the oven, and then I'm gonna put the cakes on a little cooling rack, and let them cool off before I go ahead and ice in them. Now that the cakes are nice and cool, I'm just leveling them and yes, this gave me major anxiety because I was so afraid I was going to like chop half the cake off, but the boys liked eating the little slivers of cake that I cut off. Uh, but yeah, this was intimidating and please don't be fooled. I was super anxious. You see my sister's hands in here helping me here and there because she's done this before. But yeah, I was scared, but you know, practice makes perfect like I always tell my kids. 
I actually found these food colorings on Amazon. I'm not sure if your local grocery store has them or not, but they're like dye-free natural food coloring. Um, so we use that. Plus they had pastel colors, which is what I wanted. So I'm just making a blue icing, a purple icing, and a pink icing. This is the blue one. You can't really tell um, in the camera here, but all the colors were perfect for her theme. So I mixed the um, pink and blue to get my purple. And again, the lighting is off, so you can't really tell, but I'm doing a pink layer, and then I'm also going to be doing a blue layer in between the cake. The one thing I will say is that when you're doing this, if you're icing the rest of your cake white, just make sure the colors aren't coming out of the sides because when you ice in your cake white, you're gonna get those colors all mixed in. Guess where I found this cake spinner and these cake tools? Yep, you guessed it, Amazon. But however, it was super affordable and I know I'll have this forever and use this forever, but it's totally worth it. I remember in this moment my anxiety was through the roof because I was like how come this is so hard like in those YouTube videos they make it look like this icing just slides all over the cake but I can't even tell you how long this took me you guys it looks fast because it's sped up and cut up in the hair but I probably did this for at least like 45 minutes keeping on like layering more icing and spinning it was ridiculous I put the cake in the fridge before I was going to decorate it and now I'm going to get started on my cupcakes. These are also from Amazon, these little wrappers with the little glittery unicorns. Um, this came out perfect. It was so easy and just inexpensive and for the icing I just mixed two colors into each icing bag to kind of get somewhat of like a multicolored look but everyone loved them. I thought they looked really cute. Let me know what you think. I know I say this all the time, but I'm sure there's other moms listening right now, and I want to tell you that your kids are not going to remember if things were perfect, but they're going to remember just that you tried your best and that you tried to give them a great birthday party. That's something I always try to remind myself is that above all else, I want my kids to know how hard that their mom tried and how much their mama loves them. You can see here my icing is losing shape a little bit and that's because the icing is getting warm so multiple times I had to put the icing back into the refrigerator. And I want to show you what my sister and Scarlett are working on right now and they are just melting some caramels. You roll them up and then you roll them around the pretzel stick and then once that's done you're going to dip them in chocolate and you have your unicorn horns. Moving on to the cake, dun dun. <laughs> I got this little kit from, yep, Amazon. Um, it comes with a horn and ears and little eyelashes. They are not edible, but they look super cute. Um, so first you put a straw in the center of the cake and then you just attach the little horn onto it. 
And then I'm going to go ahead and decorate. I had icing pre-mixed and in little baggies waiting in the fridge for me so that it would come out nice and not too sloppy. Guys, I literally had no idea what I was doing with this cake. Um, kind of just winging it and having fun. Pretty much like I do with everything in my life. Now I'm just adding some sprinkles to add a little bit of shimmer and try and hide some of my mistakes. Now I'm just showing you what's all going in the goodie bags. I got some candy, some of these hand clappers. I love these hair brushes. They made me so happy because I used to have these when I was little. They open up and they're a little hairbrush and a mirror. Some cars and some bath toys. And then we also had a pinata full of candy as well. Um, moving on, this is a little glitter horn that I'm going to be making to put on Ella's name. Uh, I'm just going to use some super glue and some clips to kind of roll it into a horn and let that dry. And then I'm just gonna add it to the top of my letter E and draw some eyelashes onto the letters to kind of make it look like a unicorn.
I also end up adding these ears and some flowers to it, um, but I forgot to record it on this vlog, but Chris will have a whole birthday party vlog of Ella with her cake and presents and all of it. It is the cutest thing in the world, but that'll be on our family channel, Beast and Family Vibes, and you'll get to see a lot more of the party on there, I believe, on Wednesday of this week, so make sure you check it out. So now I'm just hanging up the tool on Ella's high chair with some tape and then I'm going to add the banner to the top of it. Then I'm heading back outside to hang up a happy birthday banner. This is just a little chalkboard that I did last minute. So everything in this video is really affordable. I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box below, but I really do feel like it paid off to do it all myself. I hope that you all enjoyed this video and that it gave you some motivation for the next party you plan. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I say bye-bye. Bye-bye. So